Hey guys, Round here. Welcome back to another video. And in this one, I'm going to review the Evolution X ROM for Mi A1. I have been using this ROM for about two weeks now. And before this, I was on the Pixel Experience ROM, and I was mostly happy with the Pixel Experience ROM. It was stable and giving good battery life and performance. But one thing that put me off is the bug with the gesture navigation. But that's not the case with this ROM, Gesture navigation works flawlessly on this ROM. Plus there is an option for disabling hardware buttons, which is absent in the Pixel Experience ROM. So that feature alone was enough to convince me to switch into this ROM. But it turned out to much better ROM than expert. Performance is same as most ROMs out there, I haven't found any hiccups while using this one. Also no random reboots or optimization issues on this one which I found in Pixel Experience ROM. I ran Geekbench just to see the performance in numbers and showed better score than the stock ROM which is great. Animations are smooth in most places, the only time the device is kind of struggled is when switching between apps. Almost all ROMs for Mi A1 have very aggressive RAM management. Multitasking between more than 4 apps is hard, especially if you are using any heavy apps like Lightroom. But I don't mind that much because of the benefits in battery side. I can easily get around 6 hours of screen on time most days with Bluetooth, LTE and Wi-Fi turned on all the time. Even though I don't play any games on my phone, apps like Lightroom, Gcam, Instagram can draw a lot of cues. Unlike Pixel Experience ROM, Evolution X is loaded with a ton of customization features like Research and Remix and all customizations are well categorized under Evolution settings. Being able to fine tune how your phone looks was something I missed in Pixel Experience and this ROM is able to deliver that without overwhelming on setting side, which is very important. All these are good things and being able to use Gesture Navigation makes no brainer to stick with this ROM, at least for a while. However, I would like to address some minor bugs I found here and there in case the developer team watching this or for your knowledge. The voltage info on the lock screen while charging seems missing in this version, it was available in the previous version. Uh, lacks in animation in home when you switch to every other icon shape except the default circle one. It was a bug associated with the launcher but still it's a bug anyway. The device will force reboot if you take burst of pictures with Gcam in HDR+. Plus. Again associated with the app but I don't know maybe the OS can prevent the reboot in the future update. These are very small and ignorable bugs, just addressing these for the sake of the review. I highly recommend this ROM, uh, links will be in the description. Uh, support the developer if you can. And that's it, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.